My name is Noor Tajuri and I'm a 22-year-old Muslim American Libyan journalist based in the Washington DC area and I also travel as a motivational speaker. So people ask why Playboy and I kind of say why not. I don't know why we're going to sit there and, and constantly say, well, we want people to understand what Muslim American women are actually like, but we're only going to share that with certain people. No, like my message is the same. I didn't compromise anything and I think it's important to have that um, on the grounds and on, on a territory where they were known for objectifying women or sexualizing women, but at the same time, like, if my message is to combat the objectification and combat the sexualization of women in our society, um, then what better way to share that message and kind of put it in people's faces than on the front lines of where people are known to do that. So there has been a lot of negative reaction um, from the Middle East in terms of my Playboy piece, and I think the first and foremost reason is that because the website, unfortunately, is banned in a lot of countries, so people aren't getting to read the interview. My message stems from where I was when I was a lot younger and I was struggling with my identity. During high school, I was kind of going through this identity crisis and I just couldn't figure myself out. And I was like, hey, I need to figure out a way where I can finally find out who I am as a Muslim American and how those two fit together and how it actually works. And so I impulsively ended up putting on the hijab. And so I wore it as a way to reclaim my power. And as soon as I did, I started working in journalism. I got my first job at a newspaper when you're out in the street and you're trying to talk to people, sometimes people won't talk to you. Or they'll comment about your hijab, or it might be a little bit harder to get a job, but then I've quickly learned that, well, I don't want to work at a place that wouldn't want you to be yourself anyway. Um, but the plus side and the positive is that people know that Muslim women are often misrepresented in media today. And so when you're approaching a story that's a little bit sensitive, you can share that with them. You can be like, listen, like I know what it's like. And so you can trust me with this story. And that has been the most rewarding thing. This is a building that is covered in medical records. Um, right now, I'm pretty much doing everything that I love. I get to tell stories around the country and around the world that I care about, that I think are very important. I don't read the negativity, and I focus on the positive, and I focus on what's next.